Welcome back guys. So now let's open our California MXD and now we will open the catalog tree to add our network data set to our map. So here the data set. So we will add only the freeway network data set. We will add it on the top right here and here it asks us do you want to add all the other layers that is connected to this network data set? Like do you want to add the freeways again? Do you want to add the intersections? I don't need this right now so I will say no. I just need to show the network itself. So here I have the network showing. I can also hide it from here because I have my lines of the freeway is drawing. But now if I go and right click here and open the network analysis toolbar, I will see that I have my network data set chosen here because this is the only network data set we have in our data. If we have several network data set, it will give us the option to choose which active network data set I want to use. As you see here, we don't have this options enabled and that means we need to go to customize, extensions, and make sure we enable the network data set right here. We close. Now we have our network uh, tools is enabled for us. So what we will do is we're going to create a new route right now. So we will click new route. And as you see here in the layer list, it created some uh, things for us. And this will represent the stops. Uh, here represent the barriers uh, if we want to add any barriers. And this route represents the results for our directions. And this line barriers and polygon barriers. So here before we add our stops, let's open the network analyst window. And here it shows us what options we have. So we can draw stops, we can draw routes. We can uh, draw uh, barriers and points or lines or polygons. All what you need to do is just to choose which one you want to add. So right now we will only choose stops and make sure you choose create network location tool from here. So we can add our points. Let's say I will add my first stop here. Then I want to go here and then here and then here. So now I have four locations. I want to go from one to four. And as you see, every single stop I, I, I added on the map, it show up on the left side here on this window. And the next tool here is used to edit any existing point. So you can select a point and you can move it. And here is the most important button we have in this toolbar, which is solve. And this one will solve our network analysis where it can create our route for us. So once I, I clicked on it, you see the route have been created for me. It shows how can I go from top number one to two to three to four. You can change how this symbology looks like by coming here and say I want to make it blue and make it three. Okay, so now here is our route. Let's zoom in a little bit more. So the next thing we have here is barriers. So I can add, for example, if I have the road closed on the 605, I can go here and choose barriers and put a point right here and resolve you will see that the route rerouted itself to go all the way around this freeway to go to the two and then go to three and then go to four you can add any many restrictions you want you can add also a line restriction by drawing a line and resolve so you see it takes a very long route to go from one to two because this two freeways is closed and to remove any stop or barriers you just need to clear the selection choose which one you want to delete and you right click on it and say delete and reroute again it will work here so let's try the polygon barrier so let's draw our polygon so now this red area is a barrier if i click solve you will see that the route goes again around this two freeways because we cannot use this roads to go from one to two. So this is how you can create a new route or use routes. Uh, now let's go here and right click on the route and say remove. And the next thing we will do here to create a new service area. And the service area, let me show you how it works. Service area is basically you add your stops, you select your stops as facilities and you come and you select your tool and you put your first facility here and service area will tell you where can you go from this point to anywhere on the network based on a certain distance. So if I click solve, there is an area around this point that have been created. So if I zoom into the service area that have been created, so I right click here and say zoom to selected feature. Here it shows me that I can 
reach these areas inside this polygon that is in a certain distance. In order for you to change this distance, you need to come here to this small icon called Service Area Properties. You click on it and you go to Analysis Settings and you change the distance of how far you want your service area to work. So right now it's only 1000 meters, which means only uh, like one kilometers. So let's change it, for example, to 25 kilometers, 25,000 meters. I say, okay, I resolve again. Now it became a bigger polygon. So let's zoom to it. And now this is the areas inside this polygon that you can drive in the network from this location that is 25 kilometers away. Let's remove our service area. The last option we will try in the network analysis is the closest facility. And you can think in the closest facility as a way to find the closest location to a certain incident. For example, if you are on Google again and you are searching for, I want to find the closest restaurant, you, your location is the incident and the restaurants is the facilities. And Google will use closest facility to find the closest restaurant to you. So let's give a scenario here. Let's say, for example, we have an earthquake happened, a big earthquake, and uh, so many people got affected, so many people injured, and we need to find where is the closest hospitals that is not affected by this earthquake that we can use to save the people who is injured. So let's say we have the facilities here. Uh, we have hospitals right here here and here and here and we can also change the symbology for this hospitals to look like a hospital so we can come here and search for hospital and we have a nice hospital icon here let's use it and now let's create our incident location which is the earthquake so here is the earthquake incident it happened right here so this is the earthquake let's also change the icon for it so this is the incident symbology let's search for event and we have an earthquake event here. So this is our earthquake happened here. And this is the hospitals around it. But the earthquake, when it happened, it affected a large area around this that destroyed this hospital right here. And we can create a polygon barrier that we show that this area have been destroyed. And we cannot go to this hospital. And also we cannot use this part of the freeway. And also we can come here and change the name for this places like let's call it H1, Hospital 1, and this one H2. And you can change the name for any hospitals or any incidents or any facilities. You can name anything you put here from this uh, layer right here. Let's clear our selection and try to solve our network and see which is the closest facilities that we can go to. So we will click solve. And here give us error said that hospital number four and hospital number six cannot be reached because there is a barrier that you cannot reach these two hospitals and that's okay. Now it shows us that from this incident, the earthquake, this is the closest facility or hospital to this incident. To know what is the distance we have to take, you can right click here and say properties on this route and it, you will see that it is 46,000 meters and that means 46 kilometers. So let's cancel here and try to put another scenario. Uh, because this is an earthquake that affected a very large area, there's so many people got injured and we might need more than one hospital or actually we might need three hospitals. So how can I figure out what is the closest three or two hospitals to this incident that I can reach in the network? We again go to the closest facility properties this is a small icon right here and we can change here to say facilities to find to two or three or any number you want and we say okay now we solve it again again it give us the error say that these two hospitals cannot be reached but now it created three different routes for three different facilities and when you highlight one route you will see it highlighted and when you highlight the second one you see it highlighted and the third one highlighted right here. And now what you can do is you can come to the routes right here. You can right click and convert this routes to a feature class. So you can use this specific routes to as a feature class and you can add it to any map you want. And you can also 
come and change the facilities to another feature class and you can change the incident to another feature class so you can use it to uh, represent that if something happened here this is the places we can reach within this distance so the last thing I will show you here for the network analysis is the directions uh, you have an icon here say directions when you click on it it will show you the directions you can take for the selected route you have so we have this one selected if we selected this one and we close and say show directions it will show us the directions for this route it will tell us which freeway to take and which direction to take and you can also open map here and you can see the, int the intersection they want to show you uh, again this is the same thing like in any navigation system when you navigate using your phone it tells you like go right or go left after like half a mile or one mile uh, this is the tool you can use to show that by showing the directions and here it shows you what is the total distance for this specific route we are selecting right now and for each turn from where to where and what is the distance from this point to this point based on this direction values you have the ability right now to create a new route new service area new closest facility and you know what is the difference between them and how to use them and how can you use the network analysis for any case you might need so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and uh, take your time have fun play with it and see what you can do and be creative and try to find what is the best way to achieve what you want using the network analysis thank you so much and if you have any questions please let me know thanks